So I'm watching this movie, and it's called The Truman Show. And if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest you go watch it, especially if you're on a faith walk journey with the Lord to where you're walking into unknown seasons, to where you have a little bit of doubt, a little bit of fear, lack of faith, and you want to strengthen your faith. Highly suggest you go watch that movie. But I want to talk about something because the Lord just spoke something to me watching this movie. And it's my second time watching this. Um, this is a spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear anything about the movie yet, you want to go watch it, go watch the movie. Come back to here after you watch it. But... I'm going to say a gist of the movie and talk about it. So I'm watching a specific, 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 I'm watching this specific part and the Lord spoke a word to me and the concept of the movie is basically the main character, which is Jim Carrey. He's living this life and this life is basically, um, an act, right? His mom, his dad, his best friends, none of them are his real best friends, his mom, his dad, they're all paid actors and actresses since he was born, right? They've been recording him. He's been on this TV show. It's called The Truman Show, right? And he's the only one that is unaware that he's in this in this TV show, right? Everybody around him knows that this is fake. He's the only one that believes it's real. And the producer, it's just so spiritual once you, once you watch it. The producer's name is Kristoff. And it's just crazy that his name is Kristoff to try to be like Christ, but the producer really represents like Satan, right? Because he's trying to control this life that's really fake. Um, it's just crazy. It's like a off brand of Christ, like Kristoff. It just make it's very spiritual. But um, so basically, he's living his fake life, and in the movie, at a young age, his his dad uh, died from drowning on a boat. So he's always been scared of the water. And mind you, the water is how you get out of this TV show, right? He's always been scared of the water, and ooh, that just oh, the Holy Spirit. He's always been scared of the water, and his dad um drowned, um in the water that's why he's been scared of water and there's a point in the movie to where his dad his fake dad pops up out of nowhere and he's like what what is happening and these producers this these actors actually they pull him away because the dad is trying to basically tell him like hey this is fake like he doesn't want to live this lie anymore he wants to tell him like hey i'm not your real dad like you're in a tv show they're recording you and they pull him away before he can even tell him and they pulled him away and they just go back to normal act like nothing happened and so, of course, if you thought that your dad died, of course, you're going to be like, what just happened? So they go back to normal and he's having this awakening, right? That kind of like awakened him to where he's like, okay, wait, something's off here. Like, this is not okay. Like, this is not normal. And he slowly starts to awaken. And there's a point in the movie that, that God just, that he made me pay attention to where I just put it on. And he went missing, right? He ran away because he realized, okay, this is not real. He ran away. And when I tell you there was an entire watch party, like, more than a hundred people looking for this man. Like they are like searching everywhere for him. And God spoke this word to me about how when you're about to walk to, to a new season of your life, so where God is getting you out of that wilderness season, getting you out of that, um, that hard season, the, the season where he really has to break you in order to make you, when you're about to step through that door onto a, into a next season, the devil is going to send everybody your way, every enemy that you can think of anything your way to try to get you to not go through that door and he's going to use your fears like in the movie he's going to use your fear of the water to make sure that you don't go through that he's going to use certain fears in your life and certain wounds and trauma to make sure that you don't step out on that like for me one of my fears is not trusting myself of of messing up right of being a perfectionist and he used that to get me to not come here to not jump out on faith to not trust that god is going to work in my life and they were looking for him, right? He went missing. And when they found him, they were like, they didn't look anywhere. They looked everywhere. And they were like, wait, the last place they didn't look was the water. They were like, there's no way he would be in the water. And they were like, oh, no, look, look, at, find, find the water. Get the camera for the water. And this dude is on the water in a boat, like swimming to like the end of this, like the the set, right? Because the end of the set, you can walk through this door. It's like this black door that um leads to God knows where. This man is in the water in a boat and the, the, the producer, which is really representing Satan is like, there's no way he's going to be in the water. That's the last place that they looked. Cause they were like, Oh no, like he's scared of the water. He has trauma. Ooh. He's in the water. One of his, one of his fears, his biggest fear, he had trauma. His dad died in the water and he's on the water to go to God knows where he doesn't even know where he's going. And he's just trying to get out of this place because he knows that it's fake. He knows that this is a lie. And I'm just here to tell you that the lie of the enemy 
is to keep you stuck, to keep you stuck in bondage, to keep you stuck in your fears. And he will use your fear to try to get you to not go through that door. And when you jump into your fear, like the movie, he jumped into his fear. His father died by drowning and he's on the water to go to this unknown place that he doesn't know. He just knows I don't want to be here, but I don't know where I'm going. And he gets to this end of the set, which is this fake sky. And it's a staircase up to this unknown door. The door is all black. You can't see nothing. And God is saying, when you walk through that door, he's going to shut that door off. Your enemies cannot get in that door. And that's what the devil does not like. He does not like the fact that he cannot enter that door. Nobody he sends can enter that door. And that's why he can he can try to trick you with your mind to keep you stuck with your fears because he knows your fears. But he doesn't know what's in that door. He doesn't know what, what exactly God has for you. And he doesn't want you to jump into it. So I'm just here to say... You have to jump out on fear. The devil is keeping you hostage. This lie that he, he keeps telling you, this life that he keeps telling you is a lie. It's not real. It, it's going to crumble once you finally go into it. It's not forever. It's not eternal. It's a complete lie. So, again, if you haven't watched that movie, I highly suggest you watch it. It's such a spiritual movie. And I don't know if it's meant to be that way. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be that way. But it's a very spiritual movie. And I hope this video helped anybody. But, yeah. Do not let the enemy stop you from entering that new 